Michael went on here, by the way. Of course, earlier in the show, we told you the Red Wings are not going to play in the Stanley Cup playoffs this week. If you were born on April 4th, 1991, that's coming up on 26 years. I was 11 years old. That April 4th playoff game against the Blues in 1991. The Red Wings have been a playoff team your entire life. No more. April's are now wide open for Tigers baseball. The Wings were eliminated Tuesday from playoff postseason hockey. Through multiple lockouts and a salary cap and a dated arena and a free Gary Bettman as commissioner and NHL Tonight and Don't Pito and the internet and Chumbo Wumba, the Wings just kept on qualifying for the tournament year after year until this year. Until now. What can happen in 25 years? Let Detroit tell you. The last time there wasn't a postseason on ice in Hockey Town, basketball drove the Motor City. I was 10 years old That's back in the year 1990. Named General Motors its Fortune 500 most valuable company, and Detroit was the seventh largest city in the country. Not all glory lasted in the Motor City. The 2008 Detroit Lions are the first team in NFL history to go 0 and 16. Over the next quarter century, the Lions, Tigers, and Pistons combined for just one title in 29 playoff appearances. GM filed for bankruptcy in 2009, and Detroit dropped to as low as the 21st largest city in America. But while Detroit was losing its industrial soul, tucked along the Detroit River sat a building and a team that kept the heart of the city alive. Under the guidance of late owner Mike Yelich, an abundance of Hall of Famers like Federoff, Lidstrom, and Iserman built the street. The street provided names like Scotty, the Russian Five, and the Magic Man. In a city with that blue-collar, grindstone mentality, the Red Wings didn't take anything from anybody. I can't believe I shit this guy from freaking the internet. It pisses me right off. Hmm. Especially in one of the most brutal rivalries in hockey.